hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Ilan Paul, or Paul as the case may be. And we are on our permadeath run. As you know, we have, if you've been following along, we've completed out pretty much every single mission that we possibly could. The only thing left is that we are now heading toward the center of the galaxy. So this is big. This is it. This is where we're going to hopefully come to a conclusion to this. We are beyond 25 hours on this particular run, uh, 24, 25 hours, somewhere in that general vicinity um, for this entire run. And it's amazing that I haven't died yet, to be honest with you. So this is going to be the test. Now, normally this is going to be a grind as we go to the center of the galaxy, because basically most of it's going to be pretty boring. Um, I'm not even sure why I'm leaving the space station, to be honest with you, because I just realized I have something I need to do. One last thing. Let's just use the outlaw station. That's perfectly fine. Uh, while we're in this system to land. I want to head back to my base, because in my inventory of my ship, I've got radiant shards, of course, right? Uh, we're doing pretty good there. Um, I'm going to drop off some stuff in my base that I may not need. Planetary charts, probably not going to need that, right? We got a little bit of gold, we got a little bit of items on here, that's perfectly fine. We're most likely not going to need most of the stuff, but I don't care. Because we're going to be jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. And that's pretty much what this episode is. But, you're more than well aware, as I am, that what's going to end up happening... Um, yeah, the two cold base. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the base I need to go to. You know as well as I do that what's going to happen is every few jumps or so, I think it's every five jumps, you are going to come across a freighter battle. And rather than avoid them like I have at the very beginning, the very, very beginning, I used to avoid them because I knew my ship was not capable of handling the, uh, the onslaught of pirates and stuff like that. We are going to have to face the music. We are going to have to do those battles. So, um... It's going to be a little dicey. We're going to do the best we can. We have pretty decent shields on the ship. We should be able to withstand it, but we'll see how it goes. So we are here. Fortunately, it's daytime, which means that I have a charge going on, so that's good. And even those guys are still going. Isn't that neat? Oh, whoa. Okay, that was weird. All right, so let's get into one of these. I'm just going to start with my storage containers. Yeah, that one doesn't have anything in it. Okay, we just go here. Because I want to see about putting some of this stuff away. Yeah, I have gold in my inventory over here and platinum. There's only very, very little bit of, of it. And somehow I've got counterfeit circuits in my inventory. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, we have a storage augmentation I didn't realize we had. How oh, fascinating. I'll take that. We're going to go ahead and update our storage on our ship. Um, is there anything else I need out of here? I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. We'll save them for a rainy day. And we got two of the clusters. Okay. And we'll go over here. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff and then we're going to get moving. Um, I'll save that. Oh, okay, we have quite a bit of gold. That's all right. We probably don't have a lot of silver. It's not a big, big deal. We'll get silver later on. Uh, we'll hang on to the uranium in our own inventory for the occasion when we might actually hit a planet. But, you know, most of the stuff is just simply not going to be needed. So we'll, we'll leave the emerald behind. I'm, I, it's a very unorganized inventory in my cargo containers, as you are probably more than well aware. Um, keep the ammonia on me. Uh, let's see, dioxide we have a good amount of, which we'll keep on us. The indium we'll put behind, and the cadmium we'll put behind. You know, yeah, we'll go ahead and leave it behind. That's fine. It's not a big, big deal. Put these over here. So this is our infra knife module for our weapons, and we have a hyperdrive module as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade the ship real fast. Um, actually, let me just do this real quick. Put it over in our Starship inventory real quick so we can see what we're doing. So we have a couple extra spots available. I want to open up the spots. We're going to head up to the space station and do that real quick so we can reorganize everything in our ship. And then we're going to start jump, 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 jumping like crazy. And I actually probably should have just 
use the portal, but if I remember correctly on this planet, the space station is very close. Getting a lot of that lately, a little bit of the stutter. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, it's right here. No big deal. It was probably almost as fast, but not quite. So we'll add that storage augmentation and we'll get moving here. And because I'm starting off new, not new, but fresh start this morning without having saved, uh, all the updates, upgrades should be renewed. So take advantage if, are, if there are any. If it'll stop talking long enough for me to check. Pulse engine, yeah, that's all we've got. I'm not worried about pulse engines. Okay, let's up update this one. Uh, upgrade ship. My augmentation, which is right there. Okay, and that should give us enough room to do everything else we wanted to. All right, so let's uh, let's rearrange stuff, huh? Shall we? Okay, so I wanted to move my landing unit over to the side. So let's go ahead and move that over here. And we're going to start moving stuff around over here. So as to make room for it. And we're going to move the shields over here. Now we have the one... I thought we had a... I know we have a supercharged slot here. And there's the other supercharged slot for our hyperdrive. Okay, so too bad we don't have one more. That would be great because uh, that would be good for our shields. But we'll hold off on that. That's perfectly fine. So the reason why we're doing it this way is because we want to move things over in regards to our hyperdrive. So 217 year light, light year range. What is this one? 220. 217. Okay, and how about the rest? 256. 174 can go away. Okay. It's gone. So now our range is says 662. 1651. 1660. That's 62. Let's see something here. Wow. Go figure, huh? That didn't make much of a difference. 79, 81. We're up to 81 now. Just out of curiosity, which one's my highest one? 256 is this one, right? Boosts it up to 321, but it didn't seem to make any difference whatsoever, so it's better to have you in our supercharged slot. Do we want to keep our weapons in the supercharged slot, or do we want to take advantage of it with our... Let's see here. one. 1663. Didn't we have an arrangement that was better than that? Oh, we had 1680 at one point. 1679. Fascinating. I wonder why that is. Oh, that's just our indium drive. That's probably why. So putting these together actually makes it better. So 1679, let's see what happens here. Still 1679. 52, 69. Okay, 1679. So that's going to be our, our furthest that we're going to be able to jump at this point. Um, let's move some stuff over here. We want to get our landing uh, unit moved over. So let's move other things around. Um, let's see. So our shield strength is 254. We really need this. We need more of those to really boost our shield strength. 254.1. Okay. There. Okay. So we need more shields is what we're looking for. These guys are okay, but really I could use more pulse, but I'm not going to worry about it just now. The Infra Knife, let's see if we can get a boosted upgrade. We see 6%, 15%, and 4%. 
9% and 5%. So 5%, 9%. .9%. So better than this one, definitely. Okay. So let's get rid of this one. Put you over here, and that's going to increase this to 37,000. Okay, so we're in good shape. Plus we get a little extra cadmium out of it. I'll, I'll leave the cadmium on the ship. I'm not going to worry about putting it in my... Uh, in the silver. I'm not going to worry about putting it in the inventory down below. All right, we should be good here. Um, let's see. Anything else we need to worry about? I think we're pretty much all set, right? <laughs> not only. Uh, okay. I think we got everything we need. So we're going to keep an eye on the radiant shards. If we run low on radiant shards, we're going to have to stop at a dis dissonant planet in order to keep going. So... Get in, get out real quick, just so we can make the transition. Uh, okay. we got about the furthest range we can get. We will stop at space stations on the way. We'll check for shield upgrades, and we're going to check for hyperdrive upgrades. These are pretty good. 256 is great. 220 is not bad. 217 is a little low. Okay, so if we can get, you know, another 250 in here, we can really boost this up quite a bit. So, here we go. Off we go. All right, so how far away are we? Let's see, 676,000 light years. And we want to go galactic center. All right, there we go. Now we could do black holes. And we'll see them along the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head towards the center. You can go this way, and if you hold down your shift button, you'll go a little quicker. So we need to go as far as we can each jump. So this is just about the bare maximum we can go. We're going to open these up so we can see what kind of galaxies they are. Just out of jump range there. See, this is a three-star booming jump range uh, on a Corvax system. It's water. So let's just go ahead and head there, and we'll just get our first jump out of the way. Only a couple planets, but I'm not worried about that. And we're going to get to a point where we've done enough in regards to upgrading ourselves. I mean, we don't really need to upgrade our exo exosuit at this point. We've got plenty of, you know, room on ourselves. Okay. So, just to show you real quick. 675,000 now. So, that's giving you a more accurate run of what we're doing here. I am going to, again, start stop at space stations. And once I have the upgrades I want... I'm not worried so much about the guns anymore. What I'm worried about is shields, because I need to make sure my shields are up to snuff. This is an interesting looking station. Um, I need to make sure the shields are up to snuff, and then I also need to make sure that the hyperdrive is as far as it can go. And we'll go from there. I mean, I can grab upgrades for myself if I want to. That'll probably work out all right. Like this just so I have them and just get them out of the way it only takes a couple extra moments but here we really need to check and he's a talker of course uh, let's see with photon photon can hyperdrive we do have a hyperdrive module we'll go ahead and grab that and immediately try to install it because that's what we should do Two hundred twenty-five, which is better than that one and that one. Does it have the efficiency? Yes, it does. So we're going to get rid of the two seventeen. So you'll see we're at uh, we were at sixteen seventy-one, I believe. Sixteen eighty-nine. So we're definitely climbed up a little bit. <clears throat> I'm okay with the two twenty-fives and the two twenties. That's okay. This isn't bad. I'd really like to see this cross over the 2,000 mark, but I don't think we're going to see that. Um, we have a little bit of extra chromatic metal. That's fine. Okay. Let's get going. And the thing is, is that we're also getting space stations along the way, right? Galactic Center, we'll do that again. <clears throat> 675. A little further here. 
1400s, 1500s. Whoa, okay, we're just at the limit here where we can jump right there. That's literally out of our jump range. So what's that planet there? Minerals. High tech. Interesting. Is there a better system? We're going to be a little choosy here at first. Fuel generation. Construction. At a jump range. Dissonant. We don't need dissonant yet. Search, watch out for pirate systems too. We don't want to get involved in a... We don't mind a freighter battle, but we don't need one of the really, 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 really big ones. Alright, doesn't look like we're going to find... Oh, that's pretty good. It's not as far as I'd like to be jumping, but hey, it's, it's good. As long as it's over 1,500. I don't quite know where to begin. So you're wondering why I'm here, right? You're watching this video, you get 15 minutes in, and then suddenly I appear. Yeah. Let me explain what happens here. What we're going to do is in just a couple moments, we're going to go into a dialogue, and I'm going to be talking in the background. We're going to speed up this video just a little bit. You see, because for the next three plus hours all you're gonna see is warp through a black hole back to regular space warp to a system that has a black hole go through the black hole back to regular space occasional space station warp black hole space station warp black hole warp black hole warp it just keeps going on and on and on i i have no idea how many jumps it was 150 I lost track. I kept waiting for a freighter battle. Never happened. And I don't know why. Even when I just jumped and, and just did the regular warp. Warp, 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 warp. And that's all we did. That sounded really weird. Even when we did that, I went 30 warps and I never had one freighter battle. And I don't know why. Nothing happened. No dreadnoughts. Nothing in a pirate system. Nothing. Nothing ever happened. Until we got all the way to the center. And we... Well, I don't want to spoil it for you. So we'll come back to regular time when we get to the center planet. So what you're going to see here in just a couple moments is you're just going to see a lot of warping. Like you're seeing in the background right now. And that's all we're going to do. This so is just going to skim through all of this. And I'm just going to give you a regular ordinary dialogue for the whole thing. About what systems we found, things like that. So... Yeah, yeah, that was about it. Back to the video, but it's going to be sped up, and then you're going to be hearing my dialogue. Catch you in a minute.
So you'll notice that everything slowed down again. And what I'm looking at on the screen is pretty much the same thing you're looking at. We are literally right at the edge of the galaxy. The inner edge of the galaxy at this point. So you can see up there, it's 3,000 light years. At least that's what it says. 3,000 light years away from the center. So we... We literally have one jump to do, but basically what I'm trying to do is I'm checking out these planets real quick to see what's out there. Um, as you can imagine, there's not many planets that are at the very, very center that haven't been discovered yet. So I'm looking for a planet that I can set up on. Like there's a pirate system there right at the edge. Go figure, right? But I want to set up a small base there and call it my center base. So I'm going through these planets like crazy. These sit part me, these systems like crazy to look for something that I can set up on. I end up here, is it? No, it's uh, coming up here in just a moment. Let's see, not this one. I went around for a little while here, as you can imagine. See, and one over here, but I, I realized I was getting further from the edge. See, I even thought about that one, saying, hmm, pirate, I don't know. I just wanted to find a nice three-star system, you know, three-star economy to go with. And I'm watching the video at the same time you are here, so that's why you see my head kind of turned a little bit to the side as I'm watching it. Um, that wasn't it, yeah. See, because we were right at the edge. Not quite, we were further from the edge than I wanted to be. And if I'm not mistaken, it was a Corvax system. I don't quite remember, though, off the top of my head. You've seen so many planets by this point, you're not even sure what you landed on. Yep, we're getting closer. We're going to go further down, though. Hmm, there was a system with a black hole in it right there. I didn't even realize that. And we're going to skew around a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the music, by the way. I thought adding a little bit of a music interlude while you watch 12 minutes. Well, you watch three hours of video go past in like 12 minutes. There we go. I think that's the place I end up choosing. Yep. It's a nice research F9 system. So we take a jump over there. Whew. Didn't go through as many um, radiant charges as I thought I would as well. That was interesting. So I made for an interesting run. All the way to the center. We should pop out of hyperspace here in just a minute. There it goes. Problem is, there's not really very many planets to choose from here. The Viridescent, I think it was a... I found one planet that actually worked pretty well. I ended up charging up my drive here, but see, it's sort of been discovered five years ago by somebody else. Chromatic Fog, Crimson Planet... I thought about going to Chromatic Fog. I thought that would be pretty cool. Oh, that's right. I didn't choose the system. That's right. I said, no. Planets suck here. <laughs> so I ended up looking for something else. Cred. Did I settle for something else? I don't quite remember. Yeah, going too far back into the galaxy. Not terribly far, but still a couple hundred light years, and that's really not where I was going. See, now we're on the edge again. It even crossed my mind to choose a system. Ah, there it is. It was a Corvax system. Embar. That was it. It even crossed my mind to choose a system without a space station, because I figured nobody else would be choosing those systems, but I guarantee it was already gone over to death. Because, you know, you get all that spread out, and as you get closer to the center, it gets narrower and narrower until you've only got, you know, a few hundred systems right around the gal galaxy core. And, you know, with the millions of people playing this, obviously, everybody's discovered, see? Yeah, he's discovered this system, too. So we got a verdant planet that has very, very aggressive sentinels. But, desolate, that was considering rock. Iridescent again. <gasps> Bountiful. See, there we go. I could have went to the ice planet, but Bountiful is a good planet. Usually it's a pla it's a paradise system, so I just needed to find it. So, back to first person view, take a scooch around and take a look at all the planets and scan them real fast. Obviously that's not it. But I wanted to see where everything was anyway. So, looking back at this planet, we see there's a two planets behind it. 
So it's time to go into Pulse. Get around the planet and take a look. And that should be good. And there she is. With a moon. I figured we'd just head there. It's pretty far out there. 1,500 you know, kilometers and everything like that. But gotta find something. It's quite the run, too. So, you know, think about it. We spent... This is episode 27. Yes, 27. So 27 episodes worth of doing all those side missions. Again, we haven't done the settlement, but we'll do that as an epilogue episode as well. I guess what I can tell you is a little bit further of what happens here. Um, we had some things happen. We'll get to that. We'll get to that when we, when we land on the planet at the very end of the video. I'll explain some things to you. Um, but there was something I forgot. So we'll go ahead and explain it now because it might take a few minutes to get this through. So we set up a nice base here. Very small. Uh, problem is, is I can't edit the base computer because it keeps wanting to do the computer archives thing. So I'm guessing I need to do at least one mission of that in order to get it to quit bugging me about it. Um, so we, like I said, did the one mission. Uh, we got need to do that one mission. I got that base set up. So we're going to leave this system. We're going to pulse to the center, of course. But what I forgot, it's something you want to remember if you do a center of the galaxy run. Your ship will be, will be damaged, your multi-tool will be damaged, your exosuit will be damaged. Remember to switch to a different ship if you like the one that you've got. Um, especially something with not so much hardware on it like mine did. Preferably something like a solar ship would be fine or a regular ship. But if you choose a sentinel ship, the damage to it is going to require not only radiant shards and atlantidium, it's going to require mirrors as well. And you know what a pain in the neck those are to get. Uh, pugnium, um, you're going to require uh, uh, glass as well, not just regular glass, but the uh, radiant glass, you know, the sharded glass that you get from the uh, sentinels as well. Can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Um, you're going to need um, running uh, runaway mold as well, believe it or not, to repair certain items. So much stuff. So much stuff. It's just incredible. So... Remember that. Switch to a different multi-tool. Be prepared for your exosuit to get damaged beyond belief. You can remove all the extra stuff on your exosuit. Just put it in your inventory if you got room. And that way when you go to the center of the galaxy and you appear on the land, you can install that stuff real quick within a few moments and repair the three or four or three items that you have on you. That'll be a lot simpler. So just keep that in mind. And then you can pull in your other ship the main ship that you have and you should so be okay here back, everybody it looks like and uh, you, you've been listening to the dialogue for the you know so my dialogue back, everybody it looks like and uh, you've, you've been so listening far. to the dialogue so for the you know, I am literally you know ultra fast uh, playthrough of what you've seen so far so as you know i am literally at a planet system that is within the edge of the galaxy inner edge of the galaxy facing the center so obviously the best thing to do here would be to set up a base and to have a base computer set up here so we're going to do what i usually do set up a base near a minor settlement and i'm gonna go ahead and get this going real quick here now i'm not going to build anything here i am going to come back offline off video and I will set up a small little base here and a portal and I'll get a few extra landing pads and stuff like that but we're gonna rename it now I don't want the archive here let's do this it must be selecting let's look at that now let's see if I can rename this it's not letting me rename it it really, really wants me to do this. Okay. So, we have a new base. And I will upload it, as the case may be. So we'll get just a couple pieces down. Let's get some walls put up. door 
We need pure ferrite and we don't have any. Really? Really? Unbelievable. There we go. Let's just get a roof put on this thing. Always like these roofs better. There we go. Two, three, and four. And we're done. And I don't think we can upload the base, but that's if it even lets me. It will not let me edit this. Okay, so we'll come back. So this name of this base is last edited by Lon Paul. Okay, so we'll see this in my system as my very last base as we go through things real quick because everybody always gets interested in this kind of thing. Just to check, looks like the pistol in here is a C-class, nothing special. So nothing going on there, and I'm going to steal the nanites. Too bad for you. All right, so we're done here. So it is time to head to the center of the galaxy. Here we go. First thing we need to do, we need to recharge our Crimson Core. It's got to be fully charged to do it. Even if you're at 95%, you will have to recharge that. Head out into space. Galaxy map. And here we go. Now what you want to do is select path to the center, which is right there. So apparently I have to get to a world that's closer. So we'll head over there. Probably would have been able to do it from there and then I'll think about it, but we'll see what happens here. Once again. Now, I'll show you what happens here. If we do... Galaxy Center, see what it's doing? Tells you the hyperdrive has no fuel. So, you have to recharge if I can get it to listen to me. Oh no, I didn't just lock it up. I think we just locked up. As I was saying, your hyperdrive needs to be at full 100% in order to get to the galaxy center. So, we're going to go ahead and choose it now, and this should be it. So, Galaxy Center, and you should be able to focus on it. Now, the hard part is, is getting it selected. There we go. Selected, and then you select warp one more time and that ladies and gentlemen is the end of the series so we made it to the galaxy center the permadeath playthrough to the center of the galaxy is now complete we will have a couple other episodes after this to do uh, the settlement to do uh, a freighter we're going to get ourselves a freighter and also do a derelict freighter so there'll be a few extra episodes what we'll call the epilogue episodes and uh, I'll save the derelict freighter to last because that is the most of a chance, the, the more positive chance of us actually getting ourselves killed. This could be on a derelict freighter. So we'll see what happens. And we're going to keep a base here in the center of the galaxy. I don't know what galaxy we're going to. Probably the Hilbert dimension, um, which I believe is galaxy number two. 
Isentum is the 10th galaxy, so it could go to the 11th. I don't know. It, it's never clear to me which way we go here. So we finally did it in permadeath. And we did it the old-fashioned way. We didn't take a portal there. We didn't uh, use the glyphs. We went hyperspace traveling. Yes, we use black holes, but that's because they're available to us to use in space. And here we go. Shift. Over to our third galaxy. And it'll tell us in just a moment which galaxy it is as we fade in. Ooh. Very pretty. Love the purple hinge. Ah. El Cupalos. El Cupalos. I don't know if I've ever been to this galaxy before. This is new. And most likely what we'll end up doing too is we'll end up doing a uh, series on galaxy jumping. And we'll actually use the portal for that. We'll go to the centermost uh, ones and then we'll just do a series of me jumping from galaxy to galaxy to galaxy. Now we'll probably do that in normal mode. That way the repairs that come afterwards are a little bit easier. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're going to be damaged after we get to this new galaxy. Here we go. Let's check, shall we? Yep, the ship is damaged beyond belief. My exoship suit is damaged beyond belief. My multi-tool is damaged beyond belief. Everything is damaged. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's get some protection going before we end. It looks like we do have hazard protection, but we need a toxic environment, so we'll need this. And I don't have any wiring looms on me. So, where's my jetpack? It's working, but I don't have any of the elements I need in order to repair it. Where is my ship? We don't know. That we're going to require a multi-tool. It's usually in the direction you're facing. Uh, where are you? Analysis visor. I need a carbon nanotube. I can get to a menu where I can make one, please. And I don't have enough carbon. Oh, I have a laser. That we can repair. And then we're out of ferrite dust. Go figure. We'll get some more. So as long as we make it back to our ship, because we have to save it or else it doesn't really count, right? Okay, let's see if that's enough. Analysis visor done. Need more ferrite dust for that. Ship is right down there. I mean, that's where we need to go. Fortunately, even though your add ons to your jetpack aren't are damaged, you can still make it to your ship. And the jetpack still works properly. As if you still had those add-ons. And we're just going to jump in the ship and call it. There we go. Alright, but we're recharged. So I'm going to jump out. Restore points saved and jump in for safety's sake and call it. So I want to thank you all for watching. We're going to call this episode completed. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Please hit the like and subscribe. And we'll see you again in future epilogue episodes and another playthrough coming out soon. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody.